There are fashion houses that are all about evolution, and there are fashion houses that are all about revolution. And Fendi is one of those houses that changes season on season. But I think there is one constant, and that's probably the dialogue, or the tension even, between something entirely organic and something entirely synthetic. This season, that's very, very obvious in the relationship between the bags and the clothes. this collection was a particularly romantic one? Yes, but a clean, updated uh, romantic message, not some sentimental, romantic, uh, passeist uh, dream stuff. He has a kind of futuristic, what's next, space age romanticism. How would you define Fendi's fashion personality? Because it's quite schizophrenic. It can change radically, but this one's quite um, reminiscent of that season that he did black and white that was cinched in with the paint and belt. I think he always really pulls it off when he has that, that beautiful belted waist. For some reason, that makes you concentrate very much on the accessories. Tell me about failing in fashion. Is it a sort of psychosexual flourish? No, it's more a question of not being constrained by the box of commercialism. It's the power of suggestion. Real suggestion, yes. As opposed to NutraSweet suggestion. There was a very interesting contrast between the bags and the clothes. So I think the, the opposite attracts normally. So the bags were really handmade and the clothes were very couture. Somewhere between Grace Kelly and Ugo Rondononi, I thought. Yes, but if they had never met. A season of the dress, also season of that of hand worked fabric. Hand worked fabric and hand painting and transparency and organza and fluttering capes and I think it's very pretty and probably a reaction to all the, the times. And I do think that it makes all this lightness. It's very uplifting. The fur was very cleverly disguised in that collection, though, wasn't it? Yes, the fur was like uh, raindrops because the idea was around the watercolor and transparency, and so um, the little drops are in fur. What's your first reaction to that collection? I love the traces, very romantic, very, very fluid, and I, I love the bags, those big pochettes. They were amazing. Wow, that was such a loaded collection. Maybe you saw a lot of stuff in 34 dresses, because there were only 34 dresses. Oh, you master of illusion, you. Uh, that's the thing. That's part of my job, you know. Huh?